What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Justin Falls. We back at it again with another video, and today we finally got it. After a year, I ordered this well over a year ago. I'll put a graphic up on the screen, but it's finally here the Kyber Corp Kyber suitcase of ultimateness. I, I forget the product name, but obviously, you see the Kyber Corp logo there. I, I just want to let you guys know to start off, I am not a Yugi tuber, I just, I'm just a big fan of Yu Gi Oh! I've been playing um, Legacy of the Duelist. On my switch i pretty much play it every day i'm, I'm really into Yu-Gi-Oh, so i had to do this product uh review or unboxing or overview for y'all so let's not waste no more time let's get this thing open all right so here we go flight kaiba i'm getting ready for a duel boom crack it open and then you see right off the top we have the three blue eyes white dragons oh wow let me pull this out real quick. Look at that. I don't even want to take it. I'm not even going to take it out the case. Look at that. Let's see what the what the labeling is on it. Because, you know, it'll have the set that it came from on, on there. It doesn't, it doesn't have it on there. But you see three holographic blue eyes white dragons. And then you see the classic back. The TCG um, marking on the on the back. So we'll put that to the side real quick. Because we got a lot more to look through. So right here, you see the 21st, 20, the 25th anniversary Ultimate Kaiba set. See, I was close. I was close with the name that I guessed. Um, it comes with uh, dividers so that you can put your cards in here. I'm going to use this as my card trunk for like all of my um, fodder. Like my, you know, my... Um, you know my, my my regular cards like my father like my trunk my trunk cards because all of my rare rare cards i have in binders i'll show a shot of that as well and then you get the the deck with the classic anime design on it and then you get um some of a lot of a lot of kaiba's rare cards like this is the card list right here that's you get you get three blue eyes white dragons you get a bonus card a quarter century rare which is the new rare that came out this year um the, or last year i believe um, the 14 exclusive dividers, one exclusive briefcase, obviously, and then the dividers. Okay, so yeah, so this shows you how to set it up, which is really cool. And you can put a game mat in there on the top. Like this is this is awesome, man. This is awesome. I'm like really excited for this product. So let's continue to look through it. Pull this out. I don't even know what that little tool is up here. I don't know what this little tool is up here looks like a little mini screwdriver or something and there you have the card dividers that you will put in here there's more dividers we will set that up later and then we have the deck with the looks like this is the quarter quarter century rare I believe looks like it Looks like the quarter century rare. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not like a huge, you know. I'm not, like I said. I'm not a Yuki tuber. I'm not like a huge. Uh, I don't know every. I don't know the ins and outs of everything about Yu-Gi-Oh. But um, I am a fan. I've been a fan since I was a kid. I used to play when I was a kid too. Um, I stopped playing around the time Synchros came out. Cause I was just into other stuff, you know, playing sports and all of that. But now, as an older adult having more time on my hands you know because i've got my got my life in order i've been getting back into Yu-Gi-Oh. so um next up we're going to set up the dividers just so you can see how it looks with the uh dividers set up okay so this is how the case looks set up with all the dividers it says in the book it could fit up to seven thousand cards within within this space so i think that's pretty dope um and here is a list of all the cards that it comes with hopefully y'all can read that yeah that came out pretty clear you can pause that and look at the cards that it comes with. We're going to go through the deck in a little bit. I just want to show you the cards. And on the back here, it shows you how to make the uh, the blue eyes display, the three blue eyes, stand up on its own. So we're going to set that up too. All right, so first we have the blue eyes white dragon quarter century rare. That, this looks dope. So dope. I'm so excited to look through this deck. Next, we got the blue eyes ultimate dragon, the three strongest beasts combined together we got attack order attack guidance armor i believe that's one of the four new cards 
Lifesaver, that's another new one. Magical track, Trick Mirror, that's a new one. Another Blue Eyes, White Dragon. Every, everything is foil in this. Everything is holographic in this. And uh, next up, we got Hyozan Ryu. This is one of the monsters I used to have back in the day. Judgment, definitely used to have Judgment. I had Sword Starker in my Warrior deck. Oak Steel the Grotto had him in my Warrior deck. Gaku Tenno Megami, never used that. Gadget Sword didn't never use that, but it's, you know, you see these, these are all the classic Kyber cards. We got Rook Kaiser in there. We got Force Raider in there. 1900 Beater. Uh, X Head Cannon, Lajin, Battle Ox, Ryushin Power, Mystic Horseman. See, well, back in the day when we had the starter decks, it was harder to beat the Kyber deck because he had all of the, he had all of the um, 1800 Beaters. All the 1700, 1600, 1800 Beaters. We got Saji the Clown. We got Obelisk the Tormentor in this deck. You know, this, this this deck is so nostalgic. You got Mass, Mass Beast, Death's Guardius. I feel like they, this is like a TV deck that they're putting together. Kaiser Guider, Invitation to a Dark Sleep, Death's Pharaoh Imp, Blade Knight, Y Dragon Head, Z Metal Take, Lord of D. I feel like they're, they, they're combining a bunch of different decks that he had throughout the show, like Battle City, like the, the Dimensions movie. Um, I was surprised they have like a Blue Eyes Max Chaos Max Dragon or whatever the, that card was they used in that in that, in that movie. Uh, we got the Monster Reborn with the old school with the with the anime with the anime uh, drawing on it, the anime uh, art on it. Polly, I was hoping they would give us the old school Polly with the anime drawing on it, but we, we didn't get that. I was wishing that's that's what that was, but it wasn't, and I'm okay with that. Um, Obviously, you can tell this is pre this is post production because the audio was messed up. <laughs> so it's me recording it again. But you see some more some more uh, classic cards: Soul Exchange, Silent Doom. They had Stop Defense in there. Lullaby of Obedience. I never even heard of that card. Cost Down. Another classic card: Card of Demise, Fiend Sanctuary, Shrink, Enemy Controller. I think that's another new card. That we never that we haven't had before in the TCG. Megamorph, Dark Energy, Spell Absorption, Crush Card Virus. Like this car was hard to find. Now it's printed in the suitcase. You know, Gift of the Mystical Elf, uh, Ring of Destruction. And what's that next one? Virus Cannon, Interdimensional Matter Transporter, Cloning, Shadow Spell, another classic trap card, final attack orders. Yeah, this yeah that one I had that one I had in my old decks a lot. Yeah, that, that was one of the classic cards. And then the Gate Attack, another classic card I used to have in my old deck. So yeah, um, that was just a, a nostalgic trip, you know, going through that. I thought they, I thought these cards were gonna be like the original anime, like um, and the original anime art, but I was wrong. I don't know, but it's still cool. Still cool to look at. All right, so as you can see, I organized all of my cards. Based off type, we got spells, traps, normal, effect, fusion, ritual, synchro, exes, pendulum, and uh, link monsters. Those are some decks that I got over the years from buying, like, you know, like legendary duelist boxes, dual devastator, all of that shit. Those are the extra cards, those are the extra dividers. That's like some screws and stuff. Those are more decks, and then those are those are um like structure decks that I've gotten throughout the past couple years, and then these are the the last four tens to come out dating back to like I think 2021, I believe. So it's like 2021, 2022, 2023, and 2024. So yeah, I've been I've been wanting to get more of these tens. I have multiple, but I wanted to get more because I don't think I've gotten a rare card out of all of them, and then plus I want like. You know, like Nibiru and stuff. I think that came in this one, so I gotta buy multiple. So yeah. Next, and then down here we got the all the old boxes. Like you see, do Devastator, do Overload, old stuff that I don't need, so I can clear space in here. Cause all of this, including the cards, were in these tens, and then they were in here. But I cleared some space in here, and now it looks a little bit more organized, and it's a little valid. I got some more speed do stuff I wanna buy. You see the dual power box. I have like the menus from the uh, structure deck in there. So, yeah. And that's it, y'all. That is the 25th anniversary 
ultimate Kaiba set or however you said I don't know I don't think I've said it right once this entire video but appreciate y'all checking it out I'm just leaving y'all here with some shots of the case and the inside of the case just to give you one last final impression um if I had to say whether or not you should buy it, I would say if you have the expendable income and you are a huge fan of Yu-Gi-Oh, this felt very nostalgic opening it up. It feels like you're you're reaching into the into the TV, into the anime, and pulling out this suitcase, and that's pretty much what would be in it. So I would say if you got the expendable income, do it. If you don't, you can skip it. Because by now it's probably double the price. I got this for five hundred dollars. It's probably double the price now. So if you're trying to find it anywhere on resale. So, you know, just take my video and live vicariously through me. Alright? So appreciate y'all coming to check out this video. Alright, so much just falls to me out. One.